Smiling Chinese faces there, Sebastian in the crowd. They know they were fortunate to get away with that one. And I think what's very evident by the attitude of the Chinese players, they know they're in a battle. They know this German team is world class. You can tell by the way they're punching when they win points, shouting when they win points. They know they're in a tough match, and that's a credit to the German team. But one match down, two games to nil down, and of course, as we suspected, Ovcharov coming out, losing the first two points. He's lost five or six points at the end of the second game. He's lost the first, he's probably lost the last eight or nine points, Sebastian. So Marlong really on a roll at the moment. Could be 10 points on the run now, certainly 10 points-ish on the run. And I'm sure in the back of Ovcharov's head, he's still thinking about the previous game. Who could blame him? He almost had Marlong where he wanted it to, but somehow he came back, and that has to be eating at him. What to do against the Dragon? A slight grimace from Jörg Roskoff. You very rarely see that. Points broken, but possibly too late. Second game, 11-9, of course, to Marlong, and Marlong now leads 3-1. Ovcharov now with his two serves. <laughs> Chinese bench on its feet. Applauding Marlong. Crowd murmuring, appreciating certainly the skills of Marlong. That's a difficult shot to execute. Heavy topspin on that forehand by Dimitri Ovcharov. And if you're planning on playing that fast topspin to counter, you have to keep the racket closed. You have to move almost straight forward with your arm. Very difficult to fight your instinct as a player to play topspin on that. But I must say, Don, we have to dig pretty deep if we're to spot any weakness in Marlong's play. Chinese philosophy has he any strengths to his play? He certainly has. When I look at him, I look at possibly one of the greatest players I've ever seen, and still only 23 years of age. I'll never forget him coming as a youngster to the English Open five or six years ago. And he was an actual pain to the organisers because he was just standing by every table, rushing on to practice. And this was as a very young boy. He clearly loves the game. He loves playing. He loves practising. He loves competing. Spectacular stuff, but I'm afraid the outcome is almost guaranteed and there's confirmation eventually after some superb retrieving of trough just places the ball off the edge only just missed but the outcome almost inevitable been doing that a lot recently, that short serve with topspin, that is also pretty difficult to play. And we see here that push attempt by Marlon trails very high and then he's right in for the topspin. You don't see that very often. Marlon pushing the ball that high, testament to a great serve from Ovcharov. What happened there? 
Did it hit his body? Five, it did. Okay. Service. I wasn't sure either. It looked as though it did, so... And Marlong obviously not questioning the umpire, so clearly that's what did happen. The serve actually went over. Yeah, and that's immediately it. stopped playing. So he knew what was going on. And then Ofteroff just mistiming the backhand, so a very quick service sequence there. A fault serve and an outright winner. Ofteroff didn't even hit the ball during that sequence of two Marlong serves, but it was honours shared, one point each. Ofteroff now with his two serves to come. Good tight return from Marlon. This time read the spin a lot better. Off trough arguably letting the ball drop a little bit lower. You could see there on the excellent replay, he hit the ball when it was below table height. Off trough knows that against these Chinese players, you're only given a handful of opportunities to turn a match around. And he has let one big one go already. Marlon there, not the best return, and a good topspin from Ofcharov, but he anticipated the direction. He plays a strong block, didn't just block the ball back, he actually forced it back under pressure. There we see it. And then, as a result of the extra speed on the ball, an error from Ofcharov as he goes for the topspin down the line. And now Marlon leads 8-6 and has his two serves to come. Make that nine, Don. Off to off. So close. Putting his team in the lead here in the finals with two matches to nil. Things are looking bleak for the German team at this instance. 20 games they've played against China as a national team. 20 times they lost. Good spin from Ovtarov. A little bit of variation. Gives him a lifeline. 7-9. His two serves to come. He has to take two points. I can't see him going 10-8 down and Marlon with the serve and surviving. He needs both these points. Crowd just feeling Marlon taking a little bit too long in between points. A few whistles of frustration. That didn't seem to bounce. And indeed, Ofteroff just has a quick look at the ball. But it was probably due to the excessive spin on the ball. There we see the bounce. And immediately, Ofteroff wondering whether there's some dust on the ball or... But three match points now. For Marlon. <laughs> Nearly trickled over. Good play by Ovcharov. But I think 10 8 down with the Marlon serve. Marlon more than likely will convert one of these match points. But you never know. Stranger things have happened, Don, indeed. Although not to Marlon in this tournament. Absolutely astonishing to see him play here. Oh, well done. Dmitry Ovcharov held his ground. Brave play. Applause from the German bench. And indeed, timeout called by Liu Guliang. Very shrewd. The head coach of the Chinese men's national team. There he is. Forcing a timeout from Liu Guliang is probably an accomplishment in itself. 
tends to call timeouts in this sort of situation. I've watched him in action quite a few times. A lot of coaches call timeout when an opponent's had a run of points to try and break the momentum. But I've seen Liu Guliang do it on big points. There's no momentum out there at the moment. This is purely about a big point. Let Ovtarov dwell on the fact that he's facing a match point. Calm my player down. Words of encouragement. And of course, the other advantage is Marlong has the serve. So, shrewd coaching by Liu Guliang. Match point for Marlong. Oh, well done, Ovchirov. Two points against the serve. That is a remarkable effort. He saved three match points. He seems so calm, so focused, so concentrated. Not one bit of negative body language on display for Dmitry Ovtarov. Would you believe it? 10-7 down. Game point to Dmitry Ovtarov. Jorge Roscoff on his feet, and so he should be. Four consecutive points. If he can make it five, he's got a game in the bag. <gasps> that was so close. And Ovtarov knows this is probably the fourth or fifth time this has happened. He's missed. This trademark shot of his, he worked for it in the serve. The serve was excellent. He received just a bit too long and he went in, but... 11 now, points each. With his own serve, maybe. That sure if topspin. Can we see that again? Oh. He won't. Counter topspin is exceptional from Marlong, so he now has his fourth match point. He led 10-7. He now leads 12-11. The power is awesome. The forehand topspin on that occasion was brutal. Serving for the match. The world's number one player. And there it is. You can look at the reaction of Marlon. And that's respect. That's respect to a great German team. But it's 12 points to 10. Marlong wins the third game. And you summed it up well, Sebastian. You have to take your chances against China. Ovtarov there led 9-4 in the second game. And credit to him, he led 11-10 in the third game. Two winning situations. Unfortunately for Germany, he wasn't able to convert either. But a good performance. He was up against the number one player in the world. He gave himself a good chance in two of the games, but he didn't take the chances.